thought it'd be interesting to give you a quick tour of uh, the new studio that I've built. So let's go inside and take a look. So the first thing to talk about as we um, shut the door, the whole thing's been made with soundproofing in mind and within the, um, the stud walling that forms the, the studio, so I've used Rockwell sound insulation which provides you heat and sound, some additional sound insulation. Also the plasterboard that's been used is sound proofing plasterboard. Um, so that uh, that all helps and, and in testing it in the house I'll be able to shut the door and no one can hear me within the house which is probably quite a good thing. So the studio itself is built within the garage and um, I split the garage up basically into three rooms with the studio right in the middle that also provides additional sound insulation the uh, outside wall it's actually an outside wall isn't connected to another house so um, we're fully detached so sounds fine so a quick look around the whole studio I've got my keyboards mixing desk we've got a, a back screen um, and some storage area. I'll go into all of these as we go through. So first of all, I've got the main desk area um, with a little drawer, slide out drawer that goes away and I've got a control unit, a Behringer control unit that allows me to shuffle through edits, um, start and stop. This is also controlled with a foot pedal on the floor for start and stop which is quite handy. I've got a 49 key keyboard. This is also a controller so there's some additional controls on here um, that allow me to control some of the settings within Logic Pro. And I've got a Roland JDXi synthesizer. Um, so this can be controlled again from Logic Pro, played with its own keyboard or from the main keyboard and outputs its audio into a four channel audio interface so I can also plug in ukuleles, guitars and microphones. There's also uh, use an iPad that's some additional control for Logic Pro. I've got a 43 inch uh, TV uh, basically when I'm sitting at the desk I use the bottom half of the screen uh, it's obviously quite high and um, that can also be used as prompts when I'm standing up playing instruments against the, the background. That is uh, against one wall which is actually the outside wall and the backgrounds are changeable. I can put a green screen on here. They're on a rail which just hooks in and um, you slide the background on. So I can change the background for black, green screen, whatever I like. Lighting, I've got two racks of lights. Uh, both are individually controlled by dimmers. The, the spots are obviously adjustable. You can rotate those how, how you wish. Then the storage area, I've got ukuleles there. Some of the ones that I've got. Um, cases for the guitar, various other instruments, my cyber chimes. The leads are stored here, the headphones. So everything's ready to, to grab and, and use. Everything's at hand. Audio is routed through to, um, I've got an amplifier and some high quality speakers. I've even got my YouTube monitor. It um, measures my subscriber count and, <laughs> and views on YouTube. So that's a bit of fun. So the amplifier is um, what's called a custom install. It's the sort of thing that's normally installed in pubs, restaurants. Um, so it's just an amplifier and then some uh, Roxanne TR5S2, these are uh, high-end speakers that can be routed through from the computer um, and any other devices I plug through. So I have an access point in here uh, which is wired into the network. I get full speed internet in here and can obviously connect anything on Wi-Fi that I want to do. Audio is routed through from behind the desk up to the amplifier and I've got XLR, got quarter inch jacks, phonos, uh, there's an HDMI there that goes up to the TV so everything's wired in and uh, plenty of plug sockets. When I was installing the stud walling I put in all my mains and all the audio wiring is all pre-installed into the wall so I, I can have the minimum number of cables dropped across the floor. Behind the synthesizer is a Mac Mini 
and that provides me all the computing and audio editing that I need in here. Uh, it's backed up there to a little SD card and um, also to another disk on the home network. So I have two backups of this. And just to make it extra cosy, there's a heater there, which is also has a little timer, so that's quite handy. I can uh, preheat the room. Then I've also got my bass guitar here. This is one that I made myself, and uh, I've adapted it to uh, a low B, E, A, D tuning. And my Hofner bass, lovely bass there with standard tuning on that. And of course, a funky carpet. What would this studio be without a funky animal based carpet and when I need someone to play to I have my little audience on the top shelf uh, along with my music awards there so that's a quick tour hope you've enjoyed that see you soon